person has, let's say, 50 pigmented spots on, on the back. So which one is now really the melanoma and which one should be excised? The ultimate idea is, of course, to provide an automatic and reliable diagnosis of early lesions of melanoma. And here, of course, image analysis and artificial intelligence is kicking in. At UQ, we develop new novel deep learning techniques for medical image analysis. We create new AI methods for analyzing, extracting, distilling information relevant for healthcare professionals from images acquired for diagnosis, treatment and assessment of human diseases and injury. People require experience and training to analyze images. AI speeds this up and allows us to process the data faster. Then we can not only process the data faster, but train the data to enable us to do more than we ever thought possible. The beauty here at UQ is that we have a fantastic research ecosystem with clinicians, but then also AI researchers, bioinformaticians, biostatisticians. So we really have this multimodal approach, which is so important to tackle this. With fantastic image quality of 3D total body imaging, and in this way, obviously, artificial intelligence and telemedicine will basically change or transform the way healthcare is delivered in our specific field. To bring the AI closer to the clinicians is very, very important.